Okay, let's solve this problem. Evaluate the integral of dx over 5 sin x plus 2 cos x plus 2. So when we have an integral involving rational expressions of trigonometric functions, we can evaluate this using wire stress substitution. So we can introduce another variable, let's say t, and we can let that be equal to tan of x over 2. We can have dx equal to 2 dt over 1 plus t squared, sin x equal to 2t over 1 plus t squared, and cos x equal to 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. So substituting these values to our original integral, we have the integral of dx, it's 2dt over 1 plus t squared, all over 5 sin x, so we have 5 times sin x is equal to 2t over 1 plus t squared plus 2 cos x. So we have 2 times cos x is 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared and then plus 2. So to simplify the integral, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by the LCD which is 1 plus t squared. So multiplying 1 plus t squared by the numerator 2 dt over 1 plus t squared. So you can cancel the 1 plus t squared. So we have integral of 2 dt over. So likewise for the denominator, you will multiply this 1 plus t squared as a quantity to every term of the denominator. So you will have 5 times 2t over 1 plus t squared times 1 plus t squared. So you can cancel 1 plus t squared. You will have 5 times 2t or 10t plus for 2 times 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared multiply it by 1 plus t squared so you can cancel 1 plus t squared you will have 2 times the quantity 1 minus t squared then plus 2 times 1 plus t squared you have 2 times quantity 1 plus t squared so we just simplify further we have integral of 2 dt over 10t Plus, so distribute the 2, we have uh, 2 minus 2t squared plus, again distribute the 2, 2 plus 2t two squared. So we have integral of 2dt over, so let's combine similar terms so you can cancel negative 2t squared plus 2t squared. And then combine 2 plus 2, we have 4. So you have 10t plus 4. So we have integral of 2dt over you can factor out the common term in the denominator, which is 2. So we have 2 times the quantity 5t plus 2. And then let's cancel out the 2. We are left with the integral of dt over 5t plus 2. So how can we evaluate this integral now? We can have another substitution. Let's say let u be equal to the denominator 5t plus 2. And then get the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u is du. Derivative of 5t plus 2, so differentiate term by term, derivative of 5t is 5, plus derivative of 2 is 0, so we have 5 plus 0 or simply 5, then don't forget the dt. So we can divide both sides by 5, so that we have du over 5 equal to cancel dt. Substituting these values, we have integral of dt is du over 5, over 5t plus 2 is simply u. So 1 fifth is constant. You can just put it in front of the integral symbol. So we have 1 fifth integral of du over u. So we have 1 fifth evaluating the integral of du over u. It is equal to ln of u plus c. And then transform back the u in terms of t. So u is equal to 5t plus 2. So we have 1 fifth ln of u which is 5t plus 2 plus c. And finally, don't forget to transform back t also in terms of x. So the substitution that we have is t is equal to tan x over 2. So the final form of the answer will be 1 fifth ln of 5 t is equal to tan x over 2 plus 2 then plus c. So therefore, this is the final answer.